Tyler lived to twenty-four. Mark here for Ty Ty. In those times, if young and the Tyler, Wellington and Harbour was a lake surrounded by hills, cut off from Timorna, and no one were to be seen. The two twenty-four had very different personalities. Mark here was aggressive and energetic. He was the explorer of the lake. Or for Tai Tai relaxed, he was a calm Tiny Fa and a bit of a dreamer. The Tiny Fa could hear the sounds of the crashing waves beyond the hills. The seabirds told him stories from the oceans beyond. Nakia longed to join the ocean of the mighty Tongaroa and all the creatures in the depths below. As time went on, the Tiny Fa grew gigantic and Nakia became more impatient. It was time to break free. Nakia launched himself across the lake, flinging his mighty body over the hills to the ocean. Crashing into a cliff, his tail whipped down hard against the land, causing a gigantic crack in the earth. Te Awa Kairangi was born. <laughs> always provided for the community. People have used the awa to fish and gather kai. While the river changes, water store remains the life giver of all things. Oh, and I know sometimes this is hard for us. I know we sacrifice and get scarred and cut. Oh, I know I feel it's moving. Let's never lose this. This movement momentum is building. That union is fluid. Today, Te Awa Kairangi supports our community's hauora. Taha whanau, people gather to enjoy social connections, have fun with your whanau. Taha tinana, swimming helps us to keep active. Manu! Hey, I got the light of faith in ya. I stick with you because that's the bottom line. You have a lot of fun, don't you? But living with you is a ball of a time. How the angel, ooh, where did you hide your wings? How love shines over my horizon. She's a slice of heaven. Taha wairua, cleanse and refresh, wash away negativity. Taha hiningaru, a place to collect your thoughts and take in nature.
The future of Te Awa Kaurangi is uncertain. Climate change, pollution and overpopulation are all leading causes in the decline of the health of our island. We are the waters, the rivers and streams flow through the armor of a dying breed. As far as the eye could see, everything has changed. Tell me, how can we stand by? Tomariki. Together we determine the outcome for Te Awa Kairangi. Protect our huora, respect our tipina, save our awa. The future is in our hands. Please give it up for Fraser Crescent School. And let's welcome to the stage their team leaders, Asaya and Adele. How do you guys feel? That was awesome. Good. Yeah, they're good. Oh, you look amazing. These costumes are incredible. And first of all, I want to kick off with this question. Can you tell us ways that students at your school showed leadership in your show quest performance? Some of our students worked on making up the dance moves for us. We also had students who helped make our props. At the beginning, we all um, also came together and brainstormed ideas, scenes, and like costume ideas. And you put it all together in how many months, I reckon? Maybe one and a half. Whoa, that is incredible and a lot of work in that time. What is the story behind and message behind your performance? Um, we are telling the story of our local river, Te Awa Kairangi. We look at the past, present and future and hope to inspire others to take care of our tonga, our awa. Amazing, thank you so much guys. Good luck. You can go relax now, you can relax. <laughs> 